The ferrets were adapted to a diet of just prairie dogs, and prairie dogs and black plague have gone hand in hand for decades. On top of that, domestic ferrets are resistant to black plague. So imagine their surprise in 1995 when a colony of captive black-footed ferrets on the verge of being reintroduced is nearly wiped out after dinner. They were so initially shocked that they actually thought it must have been rodenticide, the same thing that wiped out black-footed ferrets to begin with. Testing confirmed it was bubonic plague likely introduced through the prairie dog chow that they feed the ferrets. Of the 30 ferrets that were exposed, only three lived. It's a big deal because that means the ferrets are not as resistant to bubonic plague as they initially thought. And almost every reintroduction site has some history with bubonic plague because they all have prairie dogs.